<laughs> you're back. I think say you know go show, but you show. Welcome to another brand new episode of Fake News Show. This is that show that talks about all you need to know hmm? about fake news or misinformation and disinformation. What is fake news? Where does it come from? How they take affect you, affect me, affect all of us, affect the country? How to identify it, avoid it, you know, and how to report it, and a whole lot more. On top of this show, <laughs> today's episode, we are going to be looking at why do people say after me? Why do people? I say say after me. Why do people peddle fake news now? I can understand this if it's correct. Fasten your seatbelt and come along for this ride today. You want to know why people do? Whether not a blogger, whether not a Twitter handle or government or person or office, why do people peddle fake news? Why? Stay with us. We'll be right back after this break. Welcome back. See, eh? Attire, attire for people. Why do you say people they carry rumor, information, fake news, one or two? Okay, my reason you something real quick, eh? You see, during this coronavirus pandemic, this uh, uh, COVID 19 coronavirus matter in America, one man, what they call Alex Jones, apparently, they, they talk, say the man, they na conspiracy theorists, just say they can peddle things, he can peddle things. Now, so they talk, oh, no, me talk, I'm. He say he get the cure for coronavirus. The product when in gar- when in gather include something they call nano silver toothpaste. Of oh, we say this guy talks say this nano silver if he kill the whole SARS corona family, point blank range. Now I saw him talk amo. Meanwhile, there is no medical evidence at all at all from WHO, from CDDO, from nobody, no doctor, no medical evidence that that thing can cure anything. In fact, the Federal Drug Administration and National Institute of Health. In America, they talk say the uh, nano silver is not that colloidal that colloidal silver is not safe to use. The same man, the same Alex Jones, eh, talk say he get one shooting. This Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting we happened for America in 2012 that killed uh, 20 children and two adults. The guy claims say the matter and a lie, say a hoax. Later, later, he can't talk say na psychosis worry and way making the spread that kind of misinformation. We have other cases like this in Nigeria where we people who just lie. Tweet something went all right. You know how many videos have alleged that one celebrity impregnated somebody? Some people do videos say the person where one marry, we don't propose to in get friend, though, impregnate my sister. Later they say, now nah, joke with the joke now. Why people they carry this kind of story? Hmm? We see ordinary citizens, government, government aid, government officials tell misinformation, disinformation, or outright lie on local and international TV. Why? Why they say with the like? You can stay with the like, with, with the spread fake news. Why? Before we dive in. Let's go on the streets and hear what our people are saying. You get one topic, we'll be say, won't make you reason. We'll be right back. Isela. <laughs> uh, then they tell many lies, but mo- most of the time, I don't listen to them. Now, Sela, as you, I tell me, maybe them buy something like 300 now inside market. If you ask them, maybe they will tell you them about it. 7,000 naira, understand? Let you put 500 on top before they sell it for you. That kind of lie, understand? That's what they lie. I can't even, I can't judge. It's, it's just like police and politicians. They are the same thing. I'm uh, me, I'm a businessman. I'm in the so I get now they like my own, no be small thing. Sometimes I go buy market the same price. I will carry the 500 ones, put this place. One five. The ones one five, put this place. 1,000 naira, but the same price I buy them. Bro, I don't buy where as well where we say I go another store. <laughs> the price, it is very cheap. I get, I get people where we say that they sell wares, but they don't do wares. But if I tell them say that this price I buy, they go tell me say they don't scam me. Oh. But because of say I won't make over money, so that one one five. If you come and show you the one we don't find, one thousand nine, the one we find one five. You got, you got to buy that one five one. Welcome back, oh. I don't know what thing you think about what thing we just hear. <laughs> people they yarn eh? What do you think for your mind? Mm. If now you are asked, what do you go talk? Near this telling now, make I hear your voice. Baba, no, they don't me. Talk now, make me. I they hear you. If you not to say now, tell you. I they hear you. Even microphone there, you're telling. You don't know. You say what? Okay, fine. Now, if you want to open your opinion, you want to spread your opinion, do I'm on social media. 
send the DM to us at CDD West Africa on Twitter or Instagram. Or if you like, join the conversation. Use hashtag fake news show or hashtag, hashtag um, uh, stop fake news. You understand? More run and all that. So let's have your opinion on that matter. It's fake news show if you're just joining us and we have been looking at the reason why people spread fake news, especially in politics, personal, social media accounts, official accounts, government accounts, traditional media. Everybody has been guilty at one time or the other of spreading fake news. Mm -hmm. Today we have somebody from CDD West Africa that's going to be discussing with us. Al Hassan Ibrahim. We're going to be discussing why people spread fake news. Because attire, I don't know, I don't understand why do people spread fake news. If you want to join this conversation, Send us a message on Twitter or Instagram at CDD West Africa or use the hashtag Stop Fake News or the hashtag Fake News Show. Let's know what you think. But first of all, now let's talk. Why do people spread fake news? We'll be right back after this message. All right, if you're just joining us, this is Fake News Show and it's time for Let's Talk. You know, on this show, we always bring fantastic people to talk to us about important issues. Right here on this show. We have come again now <laughs> in this segment of Let's Talk. Guess who is in the studio with me today? Mr. Al Hassan Ibrahim. Thank, Thank you for joining us on the show. Thank you, Frank. Let me ask you, what is fake news? That is a good question because everyone talks about fake news and to some people it doesn't mean anything and to some people it means a lot. But really it's disinformation. So it's stuff that you share to deceive people, to, to make people think a certain way. We know some people like Trump like to say what he is spreading is fake news, but he only says that to stuff he doesn't like. Mm. So he's using now fake news in a different way. Mm. So if we want to be clear, if we want to be precise about what we mean, it's disinformation that mm. we're talking about. Although there's another part where people try to discredit other people by labeling them as fake news. Spreaders. Exactly. So that's why now we have to be precise about what fake news means. But generally, if we talk about fake news, are talking about information news that is false that is uh, completely different from the truth why do people do it what, what do you think is the motive ah, there are many reasons Tell us uh, the so the major reason now so we know that politics is a do or die affair we know that people want to win power win positions at all costs so and we've actually found it in our studies politicians will pay people to go online and spread information that discredits other candidates, that spread information that uh, makes them think a certain way, think that they are good or this other person is bad. Uh, we've seen that in our country where we have data boys and we've seen it globally where Russia is spreading this information to discredit America or vice versa. In case so, people at home don't know, sorry for interrupting, mm. data boys, you want to explain very quickly what that means? So a data boy is someone that uh, a politician will give 5k or 10k to go and buy data and spread fake news online. Hey, what I do? Mm -hmm. 5k or 10k to go. Yeah, matters too. Mm -hmm. So people actually do this. I mean, it happens. It ha it's happened on the state uh, state level and on the national level. But we've seen it very, very clearly on the state level. Yeah, it's salary or anything. It's just that 5k to go and do. Well, yeah, it's that 5k. So it has become a job now. Whoa. Because in our country, as we know, the job situation is a little bit no, tell me about it. dicey. Yeah, the job situation is dicey. So, people mm. uh, spread fake news. What are the reasons? So, personally, too, like uh, individuals, we like, to, we like to share stuff that we find interesting. So, if we see a story now that's very sensational, very crazy, before you even think twice about it, you want to share it to as many people, you want to forward it to X, Y, and Z. So before we even realize it, we are now spreading stuff that does, that's not real mm. uh, on a more kind of like jokey level. But on a more serious level too, we know in our country there are lots of tensions, there are lots of problems that are happening. We believe that this group is the bad guy or that group is the bad guy. You see a news saying, ah, these people have killed those people. Uh, let me share it and warn my people. Mm. Before even actually asking, has this thing even happened? So that's also another aspect. Could fear also be a reason, like of you course. mentioned, I mean, mm. if, for example, you know, and I say, uh, be careful, Lagos is about an expressway. Mm -hmm. Be careful, Abuja Lokoja route. It is hot now. So it's true, we are living in fear now. We can't even drive on our streets because we know there is banditry. But then, when on top of that, you now have uh, people now sharing information that's false, 
you are likely to believe it because you're afraid. You don't really know what's happening. So there's like a lack of true information about what's happening. And we are more likely to believe things because maybe of our fear, maybe because of our biases. And it's difficult to know what our biases are. Whose the responsibility is it really? Because, um, you know, sometimes, to be honest, mm -hmm. a lot of us are young people on social media. At times, eh, you go see information, you say, you're going to say, at least information, you get as a bid. But where to go to get the authentic thing? Again, the conventional uh, media outlets mm. have been slow to catch up with that kind of news, especially when it's happening hot, hot, back to back. And it's true, like we live on, we live our lives on social media, on WhatsApp, on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. So we are not really spending as much time on traditional newspapers as much as we used to. And these uh, fake news peddlers are capitalizing on that. They know that we spend time on social media, so they spread information there. So on one level, we have to, we have to ask ourselves, why are we so, so quick to just share what we see online? Uh, but we also have to ask uh, journalists, like, are they being as clear and as thorough in their work as possible? So it comes from different angles. If I hear what you are saying very well, mm. if our journalists are doing what they are supposed to do and they are held in high esteem, mm. uh, people will probably look out for what they are take on an issue or, or information before they jump on other ones that are less credible. They will, but it's also very difficult because we have to be honest, in this country we've seen journalists being attacked mm -hmm. for investigating matters that are true, matters that are serious, and there's a lot of suppression of freedom of speech. So it's not as if journalists aren't also trying. Suppression of freedom of speech. Let mm -hmm. me ask you a question. Do you think if people can get access to free information, especially from government, from leaders, from mm -hmm. leadership, from mm -hmm. institutions, there will be any need to speculate of or course to not. believe? Mm -hmm. So if I also now ask you, looking at our country, have our leaders inspired trust in us? Trust. Mm, that too. Uh -huh. So when you're in a country where we don't trust our politicians, then there's a big gap to be exploited. I like we think so the gap, not be the genes, but there's a big lacuna. So that's also one of the things we have to look at. So that gap between information or communication between leaders and their citizens is an important factor. Of course now. If we trust our politicians, if we know that they're going to do the right thing, do what they say, then if you see fake news like, ah, this politician is doing this, or this group of people are killing that group of people, you will not be so worried by it. But we have so much insecurity going around. We don't trust um, security services to protect us. So we don't even know who is the bad guy. When there's banditry happening all over the country, and people are worried. They have identified, okay, this is the group at fault. And there is no, there is no oversight, uh, there is no higher body to give you that security, trust and faith in what is actually happening. Then we are vulnerable to false information. We are vulnerable to people want to take advantage of that. Say a politician says, okay, so I know that in this state, people are afraid or they are suspicious of, let's just say, Fulani Hesman, for example. Okay, so what I can do is I can just start spreading information saying, ah, they are coming, oh, they are coming. And I can also now spread information saying, but me, I'll be the one to stop them. Hmm. So you are now getting, okay, so if you now vote for this guy, he will, he will be our savior. That's how people can use fake news to manipulate what's happening and to manipulate how people think. Manipulation of mm -hmm. Yes, no. We're going to come back on that point very soon, but we'll take a short break now. It's fake news show. When we come back, we'll continue this conversation. Not go anywhere. One, two, three. Now I can send this story to my brother. He must share it with my mother. What are you sending to your aged mother? Come and read. I found these stories on the internet. Wait, did you verify these stories to be sure they are facts? Verify? Why? Have you not heard that it is important for you to always verify stories by doing these five before sharing them? Five things? That's too much for just one story. First, check the headline if it's sensational. Check the news sites that publish it to ensure it's credible. You double check to make sure the same piece has been published by other credible media organizations. Oh, really? Yes. Check the dates the story was published and finally, seek experts' opinion and possibly advice on the report. Wow. 
I will quickly verify these by checking the headline, date, source, and seek experts' opinion before I forward them to my brother and mother. This message is brought to you by the Center for Democracy and Development, CDD. You should only share information from credible sources. Welcome back, guys. It's Fake News Show, and on this segment of Let's Talk, we've been discussing with a very important person, a fantastic gentleman, and Hassan Ibrahim from CDD, West Africa. Thank you for joining us, Hassan. Thank and, you. And uh, before yeah. the break, we talked about why we we're discussing why people fed up fake news, and mm -hmm. you mentioned so many different. I, I, I doubt we can exhaust it in this short mm, part no, of the not at But all. part of the things you mentioned, talks say, you know, financial gain, they were people they spread fake news. Mm -hmm. Some people. And they recruit them on social media mm -hmm. to spread information to political yeah, yeah for political gain for political, political gain. goodwill you call them one name what do you call them data, data boys data boy. yes in kogi they call them shack bear boys shack bear boys yes. hey now what i do now mm. the problem call this kind of big girl mm -hmm. bear boys <laughs> yes so <laughs> by the end of the day that's what they're doing all the team come mm. and beat me i'm in my house so they <laughs> so People actually do it for financial gains. Then. Of course. Help, you know, mm -hmm. But the data boys are doing it for financial gain. The mm -hmm. politicians are doing it for political, for political gain. gain. So there's something to get at the end of it. What are the reasons? Why do people fight of fake news? So, so we have to talk about social media. Social media, yes. So Facebook now is one of the biggest companies in the world. They have billions of people on their platform. That's more than many countries. I think they are worth well over 50, 60 billion years ah, If we're going to the numbers, self, me, self. Money. Uh -huh. Big money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they want to keep people on their platform. Mm. So in a sense, whether the more time you spend on their platform, the more it benefits them. And that's why there's been so much criticism of these big corporate companies, that they need to have more responsibility. Because if people are just spending time on your platform, looking at fake news, false information, things that could make things just go crazy mm -hmm. in the real world. Then we have to now start asking, what is Facebook's responsibility in trying to reduce the fake news on their platform? Because there's a lot. There's a lot that we have found. So it's, we have to really look at what these companies are doing. But if you say now, people, mm -hmm. uh, social media companies or uh, companies who own social media platforms now mm -hmm. have a bigger responsibility, or similar with the monitor waiting, people mm. they do because you know yes i understand people spend so much time on social media these days really young people mm. they, they program their mind because they think that they watch whether they read they have the responsibility to make sure that good stuff and not mm. be false is that not the same regulation that people don't like about this whole social media bill in nigeria that we've been talking about that senators are trying to they're calling it gagging and all so thank you for bringing that up so now the question now has to go to who is the power going to if you're giving the government power to suppress freedom of speech then are we not going backwards are we not going back to military regime mm. but if we are talking about a social media platform where you have billions of people having the responsibility to have correct information so this is just whether it's factual or not factual which is why actually they have started partnering with fact checkers and we're among them but that's the re that's the idea is who are you giving the power to this social media bill will now give government power to just suppress anybody at will wow and i like the fact you said fact checkers mm. because a lot of people don't know that you know actually you know we had guests come on this show and tell us one or two things you, know, you might feel free to add to your mm. uh, to the collection we have because we are building collection of them uh. yeah so we are building a collection because we need to tell people all these kind of things i didn't even know there was anything like google reverse image search or something. no they, they exist the tools are there but again it's about when you are now sharing a story with your friend, will you first Google image, reverse it, or will you just want to send it to your friend? I'm not supposed to ask this question because, you know, if they get out, they, they, they take effect to me and some mm. of my colleagues. You don't see Nigerians just want to laugh, just for bands. Uh -huh. So what is it about? I mean, you know, sometimes they don't mean, mean harm, quote mm -hmm. unquote, but they do. Package on information. I mean, we're all in big, big things mm -hmm. at one time or the other. How do you now place the part of humor or for bands or entertainment? What people just spread information. They say, I just they follow you this now. I know it's going to be a true story. We just did this now. Be a part of it. There has to be collective responsibility. And when it comes to, so let's look at a state like Kaduna, for example, that has had a lot of crisis, a lot of fighting, a lot of tension. And then stories come up about, okay, this group has killed all these people. And you just share it randomly without checking. Are you now trying to help the issue or are you now promoting probably further violence? So in that situation, we have to take collective responsibility. You who are sharing the information, check whether it's true. The platform it's on, 
if it's on Facebook, Facebook has to be aware of what kind of information is there on their platform. They cannot just say, well, it's people sharing it, so what's my business? No confirming. That doesn't make sense at all. So collectively, we have to now at least try and be a bit more careful with what we're doing. Look at guns, for example. We have, when something is dangerous, you regulate it. So when a platform has the power that Facebook or WhatsApp has, you have to now look closely at how it's functioning. Talking about spreading fake news, is it only citizens that spread, spread fake news? I mean, we are talking about why people spread fake news. It's not. I mean, okay, so let me... Institutions mm. or government or leaders mm. do the same, either to cover up their ineptitude mm -hmm. or their lack of ability or, you know... Mm -hmm. It happens all the time when, so if we know that people spend uh, a majority of their time on Facebook and you want to now change the way people think, will it not make sense to put a, put a second, certain kind of narrative online so that people now think in a different way? So during 2015 elections, have you heard of Cambridge Analytica? Yes, we have. So they revealed to us that Good Luck Jonathan's campaign team paid them to run a social media campaign based on fake news dividing people across religious lines. So they know that we are maybe suspicious of someone from the north or the south or from a different religion than us. So you now exploit it. You now say you should not trust these people. These people are coming with a certain kind of agenda. So that's really the danger. So, so now, um, in a position where citizens now want to hold their leaders accountable. Mm -hmm. For example, elections are coming or whatever, and you know this party or that person, a politician comes out and starts saying things like, "We've done this, we've achieved this, we've achieved that." Mm -hmm. Sometimes those things might not be true. Of course, actually misinformation. Maybe yeah. two thousand kilometers of road has been, mm -hmm. uh, kilometers of road have been done. Maybe it's only five hundred or three hundred. Who is going to check? Who is going to? So, on what platform is this uh, politician saying it? Is it on news? It will be his campaign team. Okay. Or one guy that is a strong fan or strongly mm -hmm. associated with them. Or somebody that took a selfie with him somewhere. Uh -huh. So as citizens, as journalists, it's our responsibility to say, but where is the proof? Show us the thing that you say. You say you're a hater. Hater, hater or non-hater, the truth is the truth. Mm. Facts don't really care about hater or not hater. It's either it is yes or it is no. It is very it's clear. It's confirmed or it is. Exactly. It's a lie. The, if the road is there, it's there. If it's not there, it's not there. So whether you call me a hater or not. So we, all, we all have that responsibility more with the channel. I any information we need to you can't give us it. I've achieved this, I've achieved that. Ask him for proof. Mm -hmm. And if you have a counter proof, put it forward. Not be fight. That's all. Beautiful. Thank you very much, Al Hassan Ibrahim from CDD West Africa. Mm -hmm. Guys, it's been a very informative, educative and uh, explosive time on this segment of Let's Talk. Don't go anywhere. We have lots more for you after this. More fake news. To bust. Not go anywhere. You see, much people out there in the problem with you now. Any small information that you got, you want to go around and spread it. You didn't even bother to confirm the ferocious land and capacity of that statement. You just believe that, okay, sweet gist, let me go ahead and spread it. Meanwhile, you are spreading rumor, you are spreading a false information. Oh, and God, you are the problem of everybody in this world. And but I'm sure you yourself, you are a position of high as an high standing. Understand, you are a person of high cash in society. You still go ahead and give your citizen misinformation. It's not good. Don't spread the fake news. Stop it. Welcome back. It's Fake News Show. Thank you for joining us. We've been talking to Al Hassan Ibrahim from CDD West Africa. The brother talk, oh, not they look in their bear. Now that talk, when talk, made they look. In talk, oh, so far, we've been discussing why people spread fake news. Matter even for granted. Now you know where to start it. Now you for your mind go know why you want to spread that fake news. Some today you say no, say not true. You want blog them. You want tweet them. You want forward them with WhatsApp or Facebook message. Why? You don't confirm them. You say Re no, but by reason I'm now. Sister, reason that thing we won't do now. Now you just talk finish now. We they talk them every day. If they carry your rumor like that, it go sweet you. Let's be responsible, ladies and gentlemen. Let's make sure information we peddle is accurate, it's factual. 
and is responsible. All right? But now eh, he gets a city in West Africa. Don't debunk some, some fake news. They don't bust some myths. And we can't get tips and information on top fake news. Join. Sit back, relax, and check this out because <laughs> like we don't cast, he don't cast too. CDD Fact Check Report. Fake news alert. Did FG release COVID-19 relief coalition form? The trending federal government of Nigeria disbursement form is a scam. At no point did the federal government announce that applicants should fill their BVN and account details online for a relief fund. CDD Fact Check Report. Fake news alert. As Nigerian scientists discover vaccine for COVID-19, the claim that the Nigerian scientists have discovered vaccine for COVID-19 is false. The COVID-19 research group has not found a vaccine for COVID-19. What is found are possible potential vaccines. CDD is therefore urging the public to be skeptical and go beyond newspaper headlines to be informed as the pandemic reaches a critical stage. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we want to appreciate you. It's been a wonderful episode again with you. Because without you, there's no us here. Now, because of you, the day here, they take joint voice on top of this fake news, this misinformation and disinformation matter. Let's come together. Whether you're a government official, you're a citizen, whether you're an entrepreneur, you're in the military, you're in the army, or you're just an early civilian. Let everybody needs to come together. More will they debunk fake news. So, may we put accurate information out there. Cover, cover, secrecy. Now, they breed, say, make fake news. They did. May we be transparent. If you're a government official, they're transparent now. If you are a personal person, a private person, only carry information we are accurate now. If you want to share your thoughts with us at CDD West Africa on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, send us a DM, tag us, use the hashtag stop fake news or hashtag fake news show. You will even tag myself. If you tag myself, I go, I go see him at Frank Long and that's all. Make sure you lend your voice to this campaign of stopping misinformation and disinformation. On behalf of the entire team, I want to thank you for this particular episode where you say you don't gather sit down call your friend next week i have another banger episode for you no dollar no waste time join us then it's fake news show of Center for Democracy and Development with support from USAID through the National Democratic Institute.